President Trump on Tuesday threatened to withdraw funding and aid from Honduras if it does not stop a large caravan of people that's heading north to the United States. Roughly 3,000 migrants crossed into Guatemala from Honduras on Monday after a standoff with police and riot gear. There's so much corruption here in Honduras. We want to work. There is none. We need to migrate to another country. The latest migrant caravan to draw Trump's ire was organized by Bartolo Fuentes, a former Honduran lawmaker. It's been dubbed March of the Migrant and grew into the thousands through social media. A caravan that at one point carried more than a thousand Central Americans made headlines in April. Just over a hundred wound up crossing into the U.S. to make their case for asylum. The March of the Migrants set off on Saturday. We're asking the government of Guatemala and Mexico to open their doors so we can enter with no problems, with no motive, because we're not going to rob or kill, but we're going for a better life for all our families and ourselves. Honduras, like many other impoverished countries in Central America, is under growing pressure from the Trump administration to do more to curb mass migration. Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez told Reuters last month that cuts in U.S. support for Central America would hinder efforts to stem illegal immigration and expressed regret that prior U.S. commitments to step up investment in Honduras have been scaled back since Trump took office.